Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning, folks. Happy Valentine's Day. Hello, hello. Welcome, all you new folks, to my channel. Please consider subscribing, okay? If you're returning, you guys, you know I love you, all right? I really, I know yesterday was a little loud, so let me make sure that this is down some. Hopefully that's down low enough. That is the coolest little, um, I guess it's called a diffuser, okay? Mimi, my friend, um, sells the, the oils, and I just love them. Anyways, she sent that to Jax, and I like to use it. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you have something planned with your sweetie pie. It's been a long time since this chick has had a valentine. All right, y'all. Oh, I have to tell you guys, it's so precious. Um, Jax had his valentines already, and he was so proud of them. And he took a, um, a little container of candy in that we made for his teacher. And he was so proud, y'all. He was like, I'm going to go up to her and say, be my Valentine. And I was like, Jax, that is so sweet. And you know what he said? He was like, well, Mom, when people get your age, y'all get too old to have a Valentine. Yeah, he did. But his heart's in the right place. And I guess he's kind of right, right? Anyways, folks. All right. So, now that I'm depressed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not depressed. Not over that. It's more like celebrate. No, I'm kidding. All right, y'all. Let's get to it. All right. What is the overall energy today on Valentine's, February the 14th, 2022? What is... The overall energy for the folks watching this video right now. What is the overall energy? Overall energy for the collective. We have, right? We have number nine, solitude. Okay. This could be Virgo energy. Okay. This is like the, um, the hermit. Okay, you might be learning something today. You might be taking in some knowledge. Um, she has a great corset on because her chest is like up there, y'all. Like gravity has not hit her. Anyways, um, I love me a good corset. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. Um, so you're taking something in, okay? Um, let's get one more. Ooh, we have authority. Number four, this empire. Okay, this empire. So you are taking charge. I'm going to have to get one more. Because, come on, because that could most definitely mean, you know, somebody's getting ready to go to pokey. So we don't want that. Let's see what's one more for the collective. One more for the collective. This is you taking a stand. This is you. Ooh, you are most, look at this, third eye chakra. Awesome. All right, folks. And on the bottom, we have the patience, okay, which is like the temperance, all right, on the bottom. So, this is you getting your crap together. You getting your priorities in line. You are in that emperor energy here today um, for the overall energy. This is wonderful, really. Okay, um, I feel like, um, you know, sometimes people worry if you're in that hermit, in, hermit energy. I guess you shouldn't really worry unless you stay in that energy. Um, I don't really feel like you're going to, but be careful. Because I do, however, feel that if you do start having a lot of mental conflict 
or if you do stay in that energy, you will have mental conflict. Though I apologize, because with that solitude energy, um, you're going to have a lot of time of self reflection, right? But look at the head here on that card. Do you see how it is exploded? Um, that is that conflict, that mental. You know, if something has aroused and or intrigued or stimulated or ignited, and it's just back and forth maybe all right within yourself all right so let's see here what does the collective need to put more focus on today on valentine's day what does the collective need to put more focus on today What does the collective need more focus on? What do they need to put more focus on, please? Make clear and precise. We have the Four of Cups. Okay, so it could be this. All right, we have the lovers here. All right, this is, this could be in general about a connection that you've got dealing with. Or a choice that you need to make. Um, but the Four of Cups here. It says you're missing an opportunity. Okay. Um, so there's there's something that has been in front of you. That you may just miss. And you need to hold on to it. You need to grab it. You need to embrace it. Okay. Um, I feel you're a little distracted. Okay. Okay. Normally, in this card, this person is sitting alone, okay? In this particular deck, which is the Mystic Revelations Tarot, okay? Um, in this particular deck, she's not alone. There is someone chilling with her, and she is not noticing this offer back here, okay? But she's just chilling with this person here that's laying there that's kind of passed out, really. And she's looking, daydreaming up in the air. Um, so I do, I, I feel like this is what you need to put more focus on. Whatever it is that you're about to miss. I almost want to get clarity on that for you guys. We'll see how the rest of it plays out. And we'll see if we do. Okay, so more focus on some sort of opportunity, okay? Now, what do they need less focus on? Less focus. Being indecisive. Yeah, see? It's time to decide something. Time to take that blindfold off. Time to really choose what it is that you want. Here's that Queen of Wands energy, okay? That Queen of Dingling here. This is a woman of truth. This is a woman of um, style, um, charisma, beautiful. Um, everyone just loves the Queen of Wands, okay? Uh, which sometimes gets her in trouble. But, and it potentially could be fire sign, okay? Um, this is definitely, y'all... Yeah, this is definitely you making some sort of decision today. Let's focus on being indecisive. Okay. Tell us about the Four of Cups. What is this opportunity that they're missing? What is the opportunity? We have the world. Okay. So the world is completion. Okay. Okay. This is completion. This is a cycle ending and another one beginning. Um, let's get a couple more. Tell us about this cycle. Why is the Four of Cups here? We have justice. You're getting what you deserve. And judgment. Okay. So this could be a return of someone if this is love if this isn't love this is you making a decision okay of something whether you're going to walk away from job from friends from someone 
okay? Um, I want to say someone's going to apologize. But I don't have the hierarchs down here to show that, but I, I feel it. Okay, where do they go from here with this? Where do they go from here? Dun, 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 dun. The ending of something. Y'all, I can't make this up. This is Scorpio energy. Wow. With the Queen of Wands on the bottom again. Okay. So, this is definitely a, a transition or a transformation that you're going through here. Okay. Um, even with this death card, it with him holding that staff down like that, it's like clarity, that aha moment. Um, like, it is done, right? With the death card in the world, something is definitely over and out. Bye, see ya, I'm done, right? Um, but something new is beginning. But whatever in whatever decision that you you guys are procrastinating, you need to go ahead and make it before you miss this opportunity. That's what I'm feeling. You're about to miss an opportunity. That's why this patience card on the bottom has this head that is about to blow. Because you have been patient. Good for you. But it's time to either poo or get off the potty okay can you tell us more of all right this could be charity work this could be something definitely to do with work here um be careful not to juggle too much at one time We have the nine of wands on the bottom. Okay, this is letting me know that you're that wounded warrior that you've been knocked down, dragged out, cussed out, and you're you're still standing. Okay. Hmm. All right, so let's get some oracles about this I'm hearing a song what is this uh, I don't know it I'm hearing it don't go breaking my heart and that's all I know of it like I'm hearing it but I don't know it and I don't really I know it's an older song, but I'm here. Don't go breaking my heart. This doesn't have to resonate with love, folks. I actually feel that it's a lot to do with work. All right. So, let's see. Let's just get a couple of these. I want to get a couple of these for the collective. What is coming in this week? Today and this week for our collective watching this video. What is coming in? What can they look forward to? What can they look forward to? The collective watching the video. What can they look forward to this week? One more. Or a bunch more. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, we do have move forward. Okay. The first one that came out was Seek Clarity. Influences, bad or good, are affecting your life. Secrets, hidden information. An earth sign is coming into your life.
intimacy issues, secret lover involved. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, let's get these. What can they look forward to this week, the rest of this week, today, and the rest of the week for the collective? What do they have to look forward to? All right. So we have on the bottom of the deck, taken for granted. We have courage. A loss can be a win. And coward. All right. Now let's be... Let's go ahead and pick our Earth Craft Oracle, and then we'll do the yes or a no. So please, uh, we'll do one for love and for general, okay? So be thinking of that question. All right, this is for the collective. February 14th, 2022. What is it that the collective needs to know for their highest good, please? What do they need to know for their highest good? One more shuffle. We have drought, and on the bottom we have birch. Okay, that is the bottom. We will be reading... Number eight, drought. It looks like you're going to climb over those mountains to get towards that sun, honey. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> the drought card in a reading may indicate feelings of hopelessness, desperation, and victimhood. Hardship after hardship can cloud judgment and trick you into believing support is not available to you or that you are on the wrong path. You feel like the rain will never fall again and the parched earth beneath your feet will turn to dust. The more you see through this lens, the deeper the feelings of hopelessness may seep until you are so immersed to despair that it seems all is lost. Know that support is closer than it seems. Even in the harshness of the desert, you can find water buried beneath dry riverbeds or stored inside of a cactus. You may have to dig a little deeper or search in unexpected places, but don't give up hope and don't be afraid to ask for help, especially from Mother Earth. There is still time to turn your situation around. And that was talking about being at the desert and feeling hopeless because you have to, you're wanting to travel all the way back here, folks, at the sun, right? It seems like a long way. Don't give up hope, but also. For us independent people, I don't know why I want to say this, but I do. 
it's not that I want to say um, use common sense, but sort of, okay, or strategic. Because, you know, go towards, I, I know obviously there's no shade here, but sort of, okay, like on the, the hill size, on the, on the east side of them. Perhaps that's where the water is, okay? Um, play smart. Be smart. All right. So, let's do our yes or no, folks. I also have a special pick-a-pile that I recorded last night. And I will post it here shortly. So please put that bell on and watch that for me and put that thumbs up for me. Okay, y'all? All right, this is for the collective. We're going to do a yes or a no. The first one will be love. The second one will be general. First one will be love. Second will be general. Yes or no? Yes or no for love? Yes or no for that. Way too many. Yes or no, just one. Yes or no for that. Thank you. Yes or no for general. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So on the bottom, we do have the three of swords. Okay. So. You could be dealing with some heartache or heartbroken something. And we do have the nine of pentacles as your yes or no for your love. Okay, that is very single, independent energy. Funny how I mentioned independent what ago. Okay, so. All right, with the Nine of Pentacles, if it was a general, then it would be a yes. But the way I see the Nine of Pentacles with love, this is a no. But you can achieve the happiness within, okay? I feel that... Um, I was getting a message here. I don't know if I want to go there. That's so specific. I don't want to go there. Okay. Oh, that's funny because I hadn't even looked. We have the chariot as the general. Okay. So, with the general, this is a yes. Okay. Um. This could be um, cancer energy, by the way. I don't know why I want to go there. Anyways, folks, so basically with love, we've got a yes. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, I know. And then with general, we do have a yes. Um, with this general, I, I definitely see that it's movement forward, okay? Also, I want to say with the the chariot if it is general or career a lot of times when we get the chariot this is being recommended by someone this is actually having a really good reputation um hmm. folks that's all i've got today nope let's pull two of these some, just some advice with this. I feel like somebody's love is just... If you are single and you were waiting to hear from somebody, I do feel like someone's going to reach out. Um, 
because of it being Valentine's. But I, I, I feel that they're going to wait till late this evening. Okay, what does the collective need to hear right now for some advice? What advice does the collective? It says continue your spiritual studies. Ooh, that um, that number nine. Okay, that solitude member. I said you could be studying something. Literally, I said studying. Okay. Expand your consciousness. Okay. You know how I say your conscience versus subconscious. Um, your higher self, your shadow self here. Yeah, I feel like you're really learning and exploring. Okay. It says turn to your soul tribe at this time. All right. So if we are your soul tribe, holler at us. Um, if you can't reach me, you can reach someone. Let's see what's on the bottom here. Miracles happen in every moment. Amen to that. Okay. Even underneath that is connect with your inner guidance. Okay. I feel like you guys are really self-reflecting right now, which is wonderful. But I almost feel with this nine of pentacles also that perhaps not that you're boring or maybe you're lonely or maybe you just don't get out and have any fun. Okay. Okay. So try to enjoy life more, okay? Life is way too short to be stuck in the house all the time, folks. All right, y'all. Well, that is what I have today for us, for the guidance. I hope it's been some sort of light or help in some kind of way. If this resonates, hashtag resonate in the comments below. Y'all have a happy Valentine's Day. Go get you a Valentine. Even if you ain't got one. Love one another. Be kind to one another. I'll see you next time. Bye.